Hello, my name is Adrienne and welcome to my YouTube channel where we talk all things Etsy, digital products and AI. So in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down two really easy digital products that you can create even if you've got no experience. Now I've got over 3000 sales on Etsy and I help others to be able to sell digital products on Etsy and also release that creative flair through the power of AI. So if you're interested in learning how you can start selling really easy digital products on Etsy, make sure that you hit subscribe and stick around to the end of the video so that you can learn exactly what I do in terms of how to make digital products using AI. The tools that we're gonna be using today are going to be ChatGPT and mid-journey as well. Now, everybody should have access to ChatGPT, and if you don't, then it's definitely something that you do need to do, because it's so easy to use. So here we are now in Etsy. We're going to take a look at some PNGs, and then I'm gonna bring you over to ChatGPT. So a PNG is simply a small image that can be used on t-shirts, on tumblers, or even as clip art and things like that. And they sell in the hundreds and thousands. And they're actually really easy to make, especially now that we have AI that can generate images in minutes and seconds. <laughs> So let's take a look at some PNGs here in Etsy. So you can see that they sell for like relatively inexpensive, which means that people will like purchase and buy them really easily. We have this one here, which is a super cute um, Highland cow and a monkey. We also have this super cute um, ghost. Now, these two um, styles are currently trending. They have the popular now badges here and here. And this cute ghost, this cute sheet ghost, as I said, is really trending at the moment. And Highland cows have been very popular on Etsy for quite some time now but they are not going anywhere so definitely do incorporate the Highland cow in your design where possible and geez okay so I'm going to I really like the look of this one so I'm going to actually look at recreating something like this so remember we don't want to copy we want to be inspired by we want to create something different using ChatGPT. So let's head over to ChatGPT and what we'll do first is we will take a screenshot of this and we can actually put that screenshot into ChatGPT. So here we are in ChatGPT and what we can say is I want to create a PNG to sell on Etsy. Can you give me some ideas with how I can can improve this image and make it different? Now you can see that I've actually asked ChatGPT to give me some ideas. So I'm going to pull this in there's my screenshot I'm going to hit open you don't need to worry about spelling or anything like that in ChatGPT it knows what we're trying to say it doesn't matter that there's any spelling mistakes so I want to create a, a PNG so we're going to use this as like idea generation so let's hit send and what we're going to do is we're going to wait for ChatGPT to actually give us some ideas I'm just going to pull this down slightly so we can see that it's given us some different styles here so we don't have to go away and think of these things ourselves. ChatGPT is giving it to us in seconds. It's also telling us we can use some different animals. 
we can use like a different style of a Highland cow. So already you can start to see how we can even create a PNG bundle because ChatGPT has given us so many different ideas in just a few seconds. It's telling us that we can change the pumpkin for a cauldron or a jack-o'-lantern. Um, so we've got lots of different things that we can that we can do here just from dropping the image into ChatGPT and asking it to give us some ideas. So I think what I would like to do is maybe let's go with a kawaii um, or vintage Halloween. Let's go with a, a vintage Halloween. But I'd also, I think that I'd maybe like to change the colour scheme to to black, purple and lime as well. So then we can say, can we change up the image to this, to vintage Halloween and add the colors purple, lime green, and black. So let's let's get rid of where it says faded orange and se sepia tones there. Um, okay, and it might also be good to maybe, because in the original we had stars around the image, we could put bats around the image. You can put bats around the image also. So let's hit enter and let's see what ChatGPT is going to give us. So we can see here that it started to create the image. Now you can do this in the free version of ChatGPT as well. I have the pro version and I believe on this with the free version, it might be maybe a little bit slower and you do have a certain amount of credits that it will limit you in terms of your generation. So I'm going to just pause here and then come back to you once ChatGPT has done its thing. Now, this is what ChatGPT has given us. So it's OK. It's different from um, from the original. I'm not keen on the words Halloween. So it's taken that vintage Halloween. So it's taken that sort of literally. And also because it's a PNG, we want it to have a transparent background. So what we're gonna have to do is play around with this prompt a little bit more, which is totally fine. So what I'm going to say is, can you uh, change the words for spooky season? And can you make sure it has a, a transparent background? Actually, I'm going to change the words for I, I love spooky season because I think it's just a little bit cuter um, and I feel like this will be a much better prompt. So let's hit enter and let's see what ChatGPT gives us this time around. Okay, so this is what ChatGPT has given us. So it says, I love spooky season and I think that this is so cute. Now you can see it hasn't given us the transparent background. I don't know why ChatGPT has done that, but Look, it does that sometimes. What we can do is we can download this and we can remove the background really easily in Canva. So I've downloaded that image and then we can take it over to Canva and remove the background. So let's go through and do that process just so that you can see how easy it is to do. So in Canva, you can create a custom design and for PNGs, 5,000 by 5,000 is perfect. So you can open it up 
and ideally you will have a Canva Pro for this part. So if we hit uploads and if we download, we grab our downloads. Here it is. And then that will come into our Canva and what we can do is hit the background remover. So you will need to have the pro Canva um, to be able to remove the background. You can see how easy that has just removed that background there. And there we go, we have a a PNG that is ready to go onto Etsy. All we have got to do is hit download and download it as 5000 by 5000 and make sure that we hit transparent background. We can hit download and that will be ready to sell on Etsy. So there you have one digital product, super easy to do in a chat GPT. Now, the other thing that we can do is we can actually ask ChatGPT to make us a prompt for another image generator. So for those of you that might have other image generators such as Midjourney or Ideogram or Dali, you can actually ask Chat to create prompts for you. So can you make me a prompt? for something similar that I can use in my journey. And if we, if we give ChatGPT just a couple of seconds, here we go. So it's given us the prompt there. We can simply hit copy. We can come over to Mid Journey. We can hit create. Now, Mid Journey is a great tool for creating images and also now videos as well, which is quite a new feature for, um, for the site. I'm just going to change that to seven because we're actually on version seven. So cute Highland cow, we just check the, um, check the prompt. A cute Highland cow sitting on a green jack-o'-lantern, um, wearing a purple knit beanie, pumpkin patches. Okay, I love spooky season, transparent background, sticker design. Let's hit submit. Okay, so it looks as if it might be some of these are not great. So let's just hit V7 and see how that goes. Yeah, that's better. Now, Mid Journey is going to generate. It's a lot faster than ChatGPT, I will say that. However, sometimes um, Mid Journey text can be a little bit off. So let's just see what it has done here. Okay, so it's created some cute images, as we can see, However, the text is a little bit that is not good text. So what I think that we should do is we will take the text away. Super easy fix, super easy fix to do. Um, and we will hit generate. Now let's see the different images that it's going to give us now um, when we take the text away. So let's see. And we can just keep prompting until we get something that we like. You see that the images are coming up slightly differently and we are getting that sort of sticker design. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to remove sticker design from the background as well. And let's see what it comes up with.
So using these AI image generators are amazing if when you, you do not know how to draw, we don't need to know how to draw now because AI is going to give us exactly what we need with just a few words um, and just a few changes to prompts. And I can already see this one that looks really, really cute. And this would definitely be one that I would wanna bring over to Canva to remove the background because it's really, really cute. So if I hit download on this one, I'm going to come over to Canva. Let's create a new page. Let's bring the download over and let's do the same thing again, which is to remove the background here. So let's hit remove background and let's see how it comes out. Look at how cute that is. It's such like a watercolour, um, like a watercolour hand-drawn kind of feel that I really, really like. The only thing that I'm just going to do is I'm going to use Canva's eraser tool just to erase um, some of these. So edit. And then the eraser tool, I'm gonna to make it small, little brush. We're gonna zoom in here, make the brush a little bit smaller. And it's just as simple as that. And then this one over here too. And then we hit erase. And then this is another PNG, something similar, but also something different that we can instantly download now and put onto, onto Etsy. So those are two really different, actually, really different PNG styles that we have created using AI. We haven't had to use any design skills or anything like that. We have just had to use a few different words and um, to make sure that AI generator gave us something that we actually really, really liked. So this is a great way how you can take a bestseller on Etsy, but make something that is different um, and be inspired by that so that you can put onto Etsy your own unique design. And this is gonna be perfect for, as I said earlier, t-shirts, a mug, a Halloween mug, and then the opportunities are endless as well. I hope that you have enjoyed this video of watching me work with PNG images for Etsy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.